welcome back. We're out of the city and just kind of get a good view here of what we've done so far. Oops, I fell down. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, so got the new uh, buildings all built over there. So I think we are pretty much done with the main city as it is. So everything within the walls has a building and a house. And we have a ton of villagers just roaming around. Most of them are in this quadrant over here. And if I get time, I may shovel a bunch of them over. Maybe in this far corner and see if they'll uh, occupy these other houses. And I still think I need to move the green shirts and stuff over to the main castle which is way over that way I believe just to get that all filled up that's not really you know villager friendly but I think it'd be nice to have some villagers in there doing what they do Let's see last time we were here um, it was not on camera, but I have done a lot of work through here. So we're going to take a look at that. So I've kind of put a little balcony overlook over this area here. Not sure what this is going to be yet. Right now I'm just kind of making out rooms. Or making, laying out rooms. I can't make out rooms. I'm laying out the rooms I need inside the uh, inside the citadel here. I think that's its official name, Hilltop Citadel. Just like that Sunshine Hills down there, or Sunshine Hill. Oh! An extra block. So I've kind of carved out a room here with a little design up there. And the design doesn't look as good from the bottom. So we'll go up top and I'll show you that. So, so I got this one set up. As you see, I need to fix the lighting. And then kind of got a hidden staircase that zigzags here. And then back up here. And then you get up here. And that's what I was saying about the design. It looks really nice from the top and looks weird from the bottom. To get a good look here. So I've made this room. And have this extra roof area, so I just kind of kicked out the wall and put a made a little balcony area out here. And then once again, I kind of cram the uh, stairs in here, and we end up with this one here. Still sticking with the purple theme. And this is uh, blue, actually, blue terracotta. And then that's purple terracotta. So the colors are still, yeah. Let's go over here for a second. This is the main tower. So as you see, I don't have too many floors built. We got this one done. I'm still not sure how we're gonna go about getting stairs up to the other levels. I took advantage of this tower to get that stair up there. And I've got one more level up here and this opens into this room like this. And I may cut out a door in this corner here. I've got that, but I may just cut the door out here and make another level at this point. It should be pretty high up there. I'll have to figure out what to do for lighting. I was using this for lighting. I've kind of got, so I put lighting on each corner here, which is pretty good. It keeps the spawns away, and then got those towers there. So that will probably solve the level up to here, but I don't know how I'm going to get the ladder or ladder or stairs. I mean, up that way. 
guess I can run along the inside wall in there. So let's go back down. So there's kind of a little maze I've got going through here. Oh, and I always kind of do that. Even I get lost in this one. So you remember we did this little passageway through here. And I'm starting to open up this way here. I don't... This is probably not going to go up much higher than this. This is probably it. I'll just put a, a slanted roof up to there. And we'll have a room in there. But I believe what I want to do on this one is put some pistons here and make a hidden door. So we got hidden door there. And can I get around this way? No. Because this is not the easiest castle to maneuver through. But it really wasn't designed uh, to be that easy. If it was easy, it wouldn't be an odd place to be. So you remember this place? And then what we're going to do today is put a little bit of a garden area here. So I've got a few blocks. Got some flowers. Got some bushes. Some more flowers. I think what I'm just going to do is uh, add a little color here and a color there. Yes, I was hoping, so I don't want to put it there. I was hoping these would be facing that way. And really, I just want to like a little tree. And I brought, yeah, the cobblestone stairs. So I can do... Oh, I thought I had... I thought, I thought I had some cobblestone slabs. Oh, here's some stone slabs. Those kind of look better than cobblestone. So I'm just going to do something like that and make a little bench. This bench is always good. Oops. Let's get that. Get the shears. I don't need to worry about lighting because everything's really lit up through here. Let me a bench there. Maybe I'll put another bench over here. Just kind of the complemented. Another tree there. Don't really want to block the view there too much. Maybe, let's see. Coming through here, maybe another tree over in this area, like there. Yeah, it kind of hides the rows, but I think that would be okay. I got this peony here. Let's maybe put that there. No, let's not put that. Let's put that there. That way it doesn't kind of cut into the tree or the the shrub. Yeah, that'll be there. I think that'll be good. And maybe a little red over here someplace, like there? Yeah. And I really think it would benefit a bit from some grass growing, like that. Let me clear out the grass that way. A little bit of grass cleared. Just kind of make a path. I mean, you don't want it too grassy. Looking good, I think. And I really don't want to overdo it. Because could add a bunch more shrubs and stuff, but I don't think so. 
Um, let's make a workbench. So I've made a crafting table here, and we'll just uh, duplicate that. So that kind of, oh, I kind of like the way that looks on each wall there. So. Kind of gives a back to those benches. Well, that's not bad at all, I don't think. So. Slowly, we are getting things under control. So what do we got here? We've got... This floor here is done. And we have the roof way up there. Yeah, I think what I, I think I want to put a ladder up there. But for now, let's get this stone slab. I'm going to have to fix the lighting. I, there's too many torches. I just got torches everywhere. Now, what I was going to do is let's make a crafting bench. And actually, I need to go downstairs. Oh, I still got this chest over here. Sorry for the confusion, folks. Let's get some of these slabs, some of these and those. Do I have plain stone in here anywhere? No? No plain stone, okay. A crack stone and stone brick. And cobblestone. Let's start off by putting kind of a support base through here, like that. Two, three, one, two, three. That's kind of even that way. Look at those guys going down there. I think we're just going to start with that balcony right there for now. I know I thought about putting a second tower coming off here. That might have been overkill. I think just a simple balcony. Simple balcony like that with oop. Come on. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Yes. Um, let's see. A couple of these. A couple of sticks. And do I have a feather's fence? Spruce. in there. 
think just a simple balcony will work rather than um, going through all the trouble to stick a second tower out from here. And if I get bored later on, I can add a tower maybe higher up. I just the only thing missing now is lighting, and I do not want to use uh, torches. I believe I want to use end runs. So let me go get a few of those. Come back, we'll finish this up, and we can watch the sunrise. Watch the sunrise right now, and then got the sunrise over the valley. You can see where I haven't lit it up. Well, that's pretty well lit, but this is really dark. So I need to come through here, light this up, because there are a lot of mobs spawning through there, because that's really the only place they have to spawn. As we saw in the one of the last episodes, the uh, zombies are still finding their way over to the village. I believe they're coming from over here and walking all the way over there. So that means I do need to light this up. Just to get them out of the way. Okay. So I've gotten some uh, end rods here. Use them as uh, torches on the fence. So this is all mob proof right now. And I did think I need something around the door, so maybe like that. Get a little bit of substance. And then in here I've lit it up with quite an array. I've got these little lights over there and then these hanging lights in the corners. So that takes care of this. I don't know what I'm really going to do inside here, but got that floor done. So I think that is it for today. Uh, next time, I think we'll work on the stairway going up to the next level in this place and just sort of fill out some more of the floors. Not really decorate anything yet, unless I get a, a hankering too, like I did with the garden and the reading room and all that kind of stuff. But I really like to get rid of all these torches, but it's going to be too dark through here. So that's where it's really going to come in handy, because I think maybe I'll put a table or something in here with hidden lights. But I do want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have a uh, great afternoon. Bye-bye.